Welcome back to another color and chat. The Crayola box is back because I'm going to dig for my crayons that we want to use. We've used the glitter. And I might use the confetti crayons for this color and chat. Crayons ready. I haven't actually opened or seen these crayons, so I don't know what they're like. The book we are going to color today is from Halloween to Christmas. So getting back on the Christmas theme and the page is this one. It's a cute little Christmas bear. Um, yeah, so crayons are ready. I have my scrap paper just so I can swatch to see what the colors are. And I actually have a brush this time because in my previous crayon color and chats, these crayons have so much fallout that you get little specks of wax all along the paper. And every time I go like that, it kind of smudges on the paper. So I'm hoping the brush will just wipe it away. I have a spare makeup brush, which I'm willing to sacrifice because I've got tons of brushes. So we will open these. Never actually seen these. So confetti crayons. Now I don't actually know what these are supposed to do. Oh, they're cute though. So they are all there, but I do put them in a little mug because they just roll around otherwise. Well, that's all of them in there. There's a lot of white. Interesting. Okay. So grab a snack and a drink because this might be a long video. What color do we want him to be? Oh, actually, before I go on, I chose this book because it is Christmas, but it's like a grayscale coloring book. So I just wanted to see what crayons are like over grayscale and see how it, you know, just to see how it is on paper. So that's why I went for this one. Cupcake Sprinkles, this is called. Okay, that's cute actually. We will color him in cupcake sprinkles. The names are so cute. Of these Crayola crayons. I mean, it can get a bit cutesy, but. So, like I say, with these color and chats, so this is my special crayon color and chat edition just because I've had these crayons for a while and I've bought six or seven packs of you know all the Crayola crayons so with this color with these color and chats anyway I'm not doing any special um I'm not doing any special coloring. This is just simple, quick, easy, relaxing coloring is what I'm calling it. And it's just to kind of test the crayons. Let me zoom you in a bit closer. It's simply just to test the crayons because I don't know what these are like. And like I said in my previous videos, this is a little bit of a challenge, not too challenging, but a little bit of a challenge because when I color, I hardly ever use crayons. Like I use, what are they, like water crayons and water paint and all the other art mediums except for crayons. 
So I'm finding that this is a great way for me to be forced to use the crayons and forced in a good way. And I love Crayola supplies. That's why I have that whole box. They're just so much fun. And Crayola is nostalgic for me as well, as many others. It's so nostalgic. Because that was your go-to, like, art supply brand when you were younger. Well, when I was a kid, anyway, it was Crayola and Faber-Castell. Oh, and then as I got a little bit older, it was Derwent. So I've got Derwent, you know, the classic 72 ca pencil case tin. I always got one of those for Christmas. Every year, guaranteed, I'd get the 72 pack of pencils, and I love them. Just because, like, I'd use them all the, all the time, and throughout the year, you know, you, you, you lose the pencils, you wear them out. So that's why every year, I always got a pack of the 72 pencils, which were, again, that that makes me feel nostalgic and happy. That's a cute color. So that's the color there. Oh, and I'm liking the crayons on top of the gray scale. And even though Crayola crayons are streaky, for this image it works because he's meant to be like a cuddly bear. And you know how bears, toy bears are supposed to be furry. I think it works really well. I think it's so funny because a little while ago a viewer requested to see all my coloring books and my art supplies so I did those videos if you scroll through my videos in my channel you will see it along there somewhere And at the time, I'm like, no, I am strictly a tarot and oracle card channel. This is a viewer request, so I'm just doing it. And then it's back to tarot. That's how I was at the time. And now it makes me look like a bit of a fool because... Now I'm doing these colouring videos. But I realise I probably shouldn't have put that restriction on myself. I probably shouldn't have even said that comment when I filmed those colouring book videos. Because now all I want to do is these crayon colour and chats and hopefully more. So I guess from now on I'm not going to put restrictions on my channel if I feel like filming something. And that's what I've always done really. When I started YouTube, yes, it was heavily tarot and oracle cards and a, a three, three weeks ago I filmed a video about why I don't use tarot cards anymore, but doesn't mean I still don't 
have them around. I have a box in the other room, which in a few videos back I showed you the shelf they're on. I have two boxes, so I've limited my tarot supply in the house. I have not gotten rid of my tarot decks. They are safely stacked away in boxes in the shed. And the boxes in the house are the decks I want to keep around in the house because I know that I will use them or go back to them. But tarot is not a part of my everyday practice. I haven't picked up a tarot deck for a good, I think, six months now. Whereas, you know, back then I was using them every day and every week and it was just a part of my daily routine. But if you guys want to see a video of the tarot decks that I do have handy, let me know. So they're just lying around doing their thing until I feel like actually picking up a tarot deck. But I also said in that video, it doesn't mean I still don't do readings for people. Like if people want, and I still have people ask, like when I go out, they're like, can you bring your cards? So I still have people asking. He is all coloured in, or she, whatever. Right, now. What colour? What have we got? What are these white? Flamingo Festival. I just want to swatch Flamingo Festival. Oh, wow. So it's white, but it's infused with whatever that color is. Okay, let's do another one. So this one's called Mermaid Pageant. Interesting. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. This is fun. This one's called New Year's Eve. So it's still a bit scratchy, but I still like them. Okay, New Year's Eve. This one is. This one's called Clam Bake. Okay. Clam Bake. I'm doing a swatch party here. Meteor Shower. This one is Winter Gala. This is actually a nice surprise. So that's Winter Gala. And the last white-ish one is called Fourth of July. Ooh, I like that one. What's this one? And this one's called Carnival Corn. That's pretty. Fun. Oh my goodness. Oh, hold on. And then another one we have is Garden Soiree. Oh my god, these are really cute. Let's see. 
what this pink is for the cheeks. Okay. You know what? I might actually do all the love hearts. This colour. Now I've got to find which colour that was. God. Carnival corn. Yeah, that's the one. Oh no, the cat's up here. <laughs> if you saw my previous colour and chat. Oh! My cat actually attacked. Hmm, I say attacked. She swiped me and she got my hand just there. So that's why I'm always a bit nervous when she comes up to the desk. But she's run away now. How cute, the little feet. Maybe a blue hat or green. Let's see what this blue is doing. No, I like blue. So blue for the hat. So yeah, where did I leave off? So yeah, I still have all my tarot decks. And you know, if I feel like filming a tarot, another tarot, tarot video in the future, then I'll just do it. I'm making this channel open to whatever makes me happy. And that's what I've decided. So the things I want to talk about, the things I love doing, this is what this channel is. It's a very informal whatever channel. Like it's kind of like a come hang out with me channel. Is that his... Oh, I did a boo-boo. Oh, bugger. Okay, so... No. The ball ball was part of the hat. I thought it was his ear. And I coloured it the same colour as him, where his actual ear is up there. So I'm going to have to try and fix this somehow. I don't know how... But we'll deal with that later. I'll just colour in his ear. So that's his hat. I'll leave this white because it's supposed to be fluffy. Is there an actual white? Oh, what's this? This is Blizzard Blast. I like that name. Maybe that can be the fluffy yeah that can be the fluffy bit can you see that okay I like to use as many colors as I can just to test them out Okay, now what colour, you know what would have been handy if I swatch these out before, then I can just be like, okay, this is that colour, I'm going to use that for there. Now what colour did I want to do the heart? It's a shame there's no red. Maybe a purple. This purple colour. Or. It's a 
actually I might do the heart that color these are cute colors oh I'm sorry out of frame have so much fun doing these coloring to me is just relaxing and fun and it doesn't matter what I'm coloring if I'm coloring simple coloring like this or if I feel like doing more complex coloring is just so much fun that's why I've actually started to do these videos because they're just fun and relaxing and I love watching other people's color and chats okay the ribbon Maybe gold. Do we see a little gold? No. Yeah, that gold. So this gold is called Sunset Lure. Probably pronounce that wrong. So, another thing that I've been getting into and I want to actually do more of is reading. Now, with my reading, though, it's very basic. And what I mean by basic is non-complicated books. So at the moment, I'm reading, let me actually get it for you, hold on. At the moment, I'm reading A Court of Thorn and Roses, which I am enjoying. It's like a fairy romance novel which if you haven't like it's a very popular book fairy fantasy romance it's oh my god this is so good so i try and read this before like i try and read this at night before i go to sleep because reading just kind of settles me for the night but this one actually this book keeps me awake because i want to know what happens next so I haven't got much to go. I've probably got that much to go, but it's so such a good book. And these are all her other books. So they it's kind of a series. So A Court of Thorn and Roses, and then I've got that one ready to go for when I finish this book, and that and that. So I'm really enjoying this. But I've actually just ordered, just off of Amazon, because it was cheap-ish, cheap-ish. I've actually ordered Colleen Hoover, and she has so many books. But I've decided that I want to start trying her books, because they're popular. All the reviews I've seen on YouTube have been... Like, in her series, in all her books, there hasn't been one bad book. You get the ones which are less popular. But apparently she is a really good writer. So I want to try her book and the book that I've purchased, so it should arrive tomorrow or Friday, whatever, is It Ends With Us. 
that should be arriving soon. So I'm actually really excited to read that. I'm not, and the thing is, I'm not much of a reader. Like I kind of go up and down with reading. Like I really have to be in the mood. Like this book I've had, I've had for months and months and I'm only now just finishing it or getting into it again. Like I'm very funny with my reading. I'm not a consistent reader. And I wish I was one of those people that can just pick up a book and read for the whole day. Like when people say, oh, I finished that book in a day. I'm like, how do you actually do that? I want the little blanket thing here to be a green. So we'll do a green, maybe a light green. Oh, what was that one? No. Garden Soiree is what the color is. So yeah, I'm a bit funny with reading. I do like reading, especially if it's a really captivating book. But I'm excited to try Colleen Hoover books. And like I said, my reading is very basic. Just because I'm not really into books like I like books I like reading but it's not something that I have to do every day or every week like I could go months and months without reading whereas coloring I could just do every day but leave a comment and let me know what you think of Colleen Hoover because I want to see, like, the reviews that I've seen have all been quite good. And let me know if you're reading any Colleen Hoover books. Let me know if you're reading Sarah J. Mass books. Leave your thoughts and comments below because I read everything. Now the lights, I want to be pretty colours. So we'll do one green light up here. A little bit of green glue. Purple light over here. We'll do one yellow. That can be a yellow. And that can be a yellow. Yeah, so I'm actually excited to read I like easy reading even though a quarter fawn on roses is there's is a lot of characters to follow it's kind of easy to follow <laughs> if that made any sense at all and that's what I'm going to try and do like especially before bed because some nights I just I'm on my phone scrolling you know replying to messages and I'm like this is not good before bed and I can you know as you get older you can actually feel it in your eyes and they just do strain a little bit so that's not good so I want to try and read and not be on my phone Now where's a, where's a purple? I want to do a little purple. Yes. Just 
for the love hearts down here. And also leave comments on what you're reading as well. It's so funny because when I was younger, I used to read Roald Dahl, Babysitter's Club, Goosebumps. Like they were my go-to books and I've actually got all of them for when I was younger. Not the Babysitter's, like I borrowed those books from the library but a few years back, I actually bought a whole box set of the Babysitter's Club. The Goosebumps, I've got the old ones. And again, I've got a box set of the new ones that R.L. Stein has done. That was a box set at Big W. I think they're a new set. Unless it's an, still the old books, but with new covering. But I used to love reading R.L. Stein's, you know, he did these teen romance novels. So I'm actually on the hunt for those as well because I loved reading those as a kid. I've got all the, what are they called? Enid Blyton, you know, the, the folk of the faraway tree. I love all those books. Oh, I love my book collection. Just old, timeless classics. Like childhood classics. What colour can I do the string? There's no black. Maybe a, know, there's brown. Rose Parade. Yep, that'll do. Now, I was thinking... With these colour and chats, leave a comment if you have any questions, because maybe for the next few colour and chats, there can be a little Q&A if you guys want to ask me anything or discuss anything, leave a comment below. I'm happy to do that. And also, if you want to see any books that I bring out, any crayons that I bring out, like any, if you want an in-depth review of anything, just leave a comment below, ask and you shall receive. Now the news, the new, oh, how am I gonna fix this fluffy here? Cause I would have loved to do it that color. Let's just see what I can do. I don't know if this will work at all. See if I can pale it up a bit. No. No. Oh, maybe a little. You probably can't notice anything. So it kind of made it a greeny color but that's okay that's how I'm going to fix that there's not much else I can do now oh that was the wrong color god okay now his eyes what have we got the nose can be this color this one's called Party fish. And his eyes. I might leave him black. Just wipe away. Now, is there anything that I've missed? No. I just feel like going over this again. So I'm finding with the crayons, if you want to get rid of the streakiness, you do a first layer and then go over it with a second layer of the same color. And that kind of gets rid of the streakiness, but you know, these are Crayola crayons, so 
they're not the high-end crayons so you're gonna get streakiness I guess no matter what but I don't know if you can notice that oh it still looks streaky anyway just and if you want more color you just go over with a second layer as well it actually looks more vibrant here than it does on the camera doing some final touches here and then I'm actually going to call this piece done and I'm just going to go over this again I might go over actually no I'm gonna leave it now that's it it's I get so annoyed with myself because the more I look at the picture the more I'm like oh no I'll just go over that bit no I'll just go over that bit when it's fine my final thoughts on the confetti crayons are they are just like your standard Crayola crayons I think these crayons are fun the color range, I think if you want to do like a nice pastel piece, then these will be good. But the colors, the color range, yeah, it is your, excuse my bad swatches. The color range is very pastel-y, which I love pastels, but for a Christmas like maybe I should have gone with the basic 24 set because for Christmas I like bright reds and greens doesn't matter though this still I'm still happy with how this one turned out actually and these colors are cute I'm going to call this done thank you so much for tuning in and hearing me babble and I will talk to you in the next Christmas colour and chat.